All right, so if you're ever playing against a tier limits player and you want to absolutely cook, this is how you do it. This is how we do it. Now, of course, I take what I can get. So activate Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and mill with Kelbeck. You don't have to mill with the Kelbeck if you don't want to. Actually, the funny thing is them limiting all the shufflers like in all the millers and everything like changing everything up actually might help tier limits players not get countered so hard because it's less consistent for your opponent to actually hit those cards as well so you'll just absolutely cook another tier limit player in the mirrors so that's the funny part but anyways my opponent is playing kick close right here i'm holding Kelbeck for his kick close holding that shit for you my boy so i hit his ass with a nice little send this shit back and he shuffles some stuff back into my deck i activate one of my shufflers shuffle some of his stuff back and then i also shuffle back some of my ishizu cards myself he's smart enough to shuffle back um cyber stein he doesn't want to deal with that smoke so then he goes Sullyak right here, or grabs Sullyak, and then he also grabs Scream. Am I concerned? Not at all. Not at all, bro. So I put the field spell onto my side of the field and go Sheeran. Just summon out a whole bunch of monsters right here, and then I go into my own Kikolos right here. And then he does exactly what I did to him to me. Uses his Kelbeck to send my kick close back. But my boy, you are playing on my turn, my boy. So I go into Sprite Elf and then into Abyss Dweller. Now, this in itself is already a GG's, my boy. You can't beat this shit, my boy. Like, bro, it doesn't matter what he got in his hand. The way that I can play this, I am fucking way too smart. Activate Abyss Dweller on his turn, all of his graveyard effects become null and void. He can then go into a Baguska play, put that shit into defense, but I can then pop his Baguska because I have the field spell already on my side of the field. Plus, I have Sullyak and Crime. So, what does that mean? I can negate his Baguska. And I have an Omni Negate here as well, right? Then on top of that, I actually have a Shuffler in my graveyard. So, all I need to do is put another Shuffler in my graveyard. So, let's do that. So, I go ahead and activate Abyss Dweller. He mills cards for absolutely no reason at all. Those cards hit the graveyard. It gives him no kind of value whatsoever. And he pretty much has to scoop it up because he knows what's coming. Baron the floor is coming. I pop the card that's on his field. He goes to his graveyard. Put him under Abyss Dweller again. And then every card that he mills at that point becomes just basically trash, bro. You throw them hoes in the trash. So then that would make his scream completely useless. So he would have to hold scream in his hand. Because if he sets scream on the field, which he can do... I can just pop that shit and he gets no value out of it. But if he does put it on the field and he does activate it, basically he throws three cards in the trash. I'm too smart for you, my boy. GG's. I'm cooking. I've been cooking. Look at this. Bro, I I I bro, I've been ranking up, bro. Tier limits is too easy, my boy. Let me win G. Nah. Bird brain, my boy. Nah. Huh? Nah, my boy, I've been cooking. So y'all, y'all gonna have to hold these L's until they ban this shit, bro. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.